Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gene Hazard, um, and Gene has filed a lawsuit against, uh, specifically, is it California Commercial Investors or the City of Oakland? Can you clarify for my viewers who the lawsuit is specifically directed at? The uh, lawsuit, the defendants in the lawsuit are the City of Oakland, which includes identified individuals, both in the administration and uh, the mayor as well as the co-defendants, which is uh, Prologis slash AMB CCI CCIG. Prologis being represented by <coughs> uh, Dan Letter mm -hmm. and uh, the CCI CCIG uh, by Phil Dagami. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say those two names Prologis A and B and CCI, CCIG, because it was uh, a change. A great. Hello, Merit, Thank you. Merit oh, Cafe Coffee there. for Mr. Hazard. There you mm -hmm. go. Cool. Uh, there was a, uh, a change in the structure. Uh, matter of fact, Prologis and if you. <clears throat> Let me back up. Sure. The city had entered into an exclusive negotiating agreement with the defendants I just described. Mm -hmm. and, uh, matter of fact, Prologis A and B was Prologis Properties LP. LP means a limited partner uh, in terms of their business and organizational structure. Right. And uh, CCIG is a limited liability uh, company. Mm -hmm. an LLC. When you go to the entities in se September 11th, actually September 20th, mm -hmm. 2011, you have the City Council Resolution 2011 0 0 Six three, and you see it says revised, and you have resolution eight three five six five. When you refer to the date of the signature of the resolution, September 20th, 2011. Mm -hmm. Be it reserved further, okay. further resolved that except for any contracts. Can you point where that is? Specifically? Okay, thank you. Okay. That except for any contracts regarding the master infrastructure planning work with an approved subconsultant says set forth in the Second Amendment, the Third Amendment will require that any new contract for any work under the ENA, the Exclusive Negotiating Agreement, as amended, executed by Prologis Property LP or CCIG, mm -hmm. Oakland Global LLC, after the uh, amount exceeds, and they say the amount, but mm -hmm. the, the, what you need to know... $50,000. Yes. What you need to know is this, that the agency administrator is authorized to negotiate and execute a third amendment to the ENA reflecting the change in the developer entity mm -hmm. to Prologis Property LP, CCIG, Open Global LLC, and the assumption of the exclusive uh, negotiating obligation by the new entities and be it that. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So we see that the city entered to the exclusive negotiating agreement mm -hmm. with the uh, aforementioned individuals. Mm -hmm. Now, I would only say they're moving toward signing the LDBA. The Lease Disposition Development Agreement for the Oakland Army Base. 
that is the document that will convey all the uh, specific uh, identified uh, aspects of the transfer of the property mm -hmm. and what that means. Mm -hmm. That's all contained in the lease development agreement. Now, I just read to you, and you just noted who those entities are. Mm -hmm. Those should be the same entities signing the LDDA, the Lease Disposition Development Agreement. Okay. They signed that on October 23rd, 2012. Mm -hmm. Now, why should, where is it to say that they have to be the same? If they've negotiated an agreement with Lenny Abraham over here, mm -hmm. and there's been no subsequent change mm -hmm. in that structure, that's why that's the legal entity that the city is to your contract to your contracting with. That's right. Now, if there was a change, wouldn't they be responsible for filling out some sort of uh, amendment? You are correct. And the matter of fact. In this same document, it same, says... The same resolution. Yeah, mm -hmm. the resolution. Let's see if I have that. Whereas mm -hmm. the e &A is personal to the developer entity, and that's the ones I just said, and not assignable to any other person or entity without the written consent of the agency board, which is the city council, mm -hmm. which may be given or refused in the agency's sole and absolute discretion. At the agency's sole and absolute discretion? Yes. Right? So, your question was right on point. And I just identified in the resolution mm -hmm. It, uh, it, 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 it has to go back to the council if what I read to you at first under the uh, resolution, mm -hmm. 8365, whatever it was, right. uh, that uh, 83565, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that's real clear. Are you real clear about what that says? Uh, yeah, one more time though, just one more time. Okay. I asked you, were you clear about what that said? That's why you I can't assign. You cannot assign any uh, any change. I'm saying, can you reread it because there's something that I heard that muddled it? Can you reread that? Because it forms a question in my head, but I want to make sure I'm going to ask What's, the right one. Okay. Well, we'll read it first, and then because I may not ask the question if I. My ears were wrong. Whereas the okay. ENA, the exclusive negotiating agreement. And point to where this is. Right here. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Is personal to the developer entity. Mm -hmm. And that developer entity is who? Prologis Property LP and CCIG LLC. Mm -hmm. Those are the entities with whom the city has entered into a contract agreement with exclusive. That's why they call it exclusive negotiating agreement. And not assignable. You know what mean you know what that means by not assignable? They can't give it to you. Or me. They can't give it to anybody else. Mm -hmm. To any other person or entity without the written consent of the agency board, which mm -hmm. is the, the city, council. city council, which may be given or refused in the agency's sole and absolute discretion. That's the point. The agency's sole and absolute discretion. I mean, that's a that gives them a lot of leeway. I don't know. I don't know what the question. I don't know what the comment is. Well, it sounds like. But correct me if I'm wrong. But if 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 the agency has some discretion over assignability, then Phil could bring in somebody else. Or as long as he has it in writing, maybe they discuss. From the council, that's all it says. That's all that says. Yeah. Do you got You got to. Just asking a question. I'm just asking you, a question. Yeah. Well, no, you made a comment. Right, and and I, and to I'm form saying, the question. I, no, and, 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 I, and I'm saying it's real clear. You cannot pass it on without getting written consent from the council. But is this something that could have been done in closed session? You cannot, no. You cannot. You so the resolution matter, you said 
the resolution it, there's not something that could be done in a closed session is your assertion let me let me let, let me just say this to that you worked in the mayor's office for how long and you're asking me that question you know what that process is so that's a specious uh, question. Well, I don't, this isn't about me, though. No, this no, is about no. What I'm you're... Talking, I'm, no, I was real clear in terms of what I said. Right. It's a resolution. That resolution is approved by the city council. It's not in closed session. But any change Any change in the name well, with regards to the exclusive negotiated agreement, it goes through the same process. All I'm asking is... I know what you're you, asking. I right. just, I just, I just, I just, All I just, I'm asking is, is it possible... Because sometimes the council does no, do this. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. But you asked me as a you asked me a question regarding the mayor's office, and we have no, not no. You haven't. I will guarantee you haven't. You haven't let me finish. Resolutions are you, you, always you before. Let me, you haven't let me finish. Yeah, but no, resolutions are always before the body of the city council. I've already said that. But John, you, Gene. Gene, you haven't let me finish. I'm saying that there have been development matters that have been discussed and decide upon to some degree in closed session over the years. That has happened. Give me an example where they pass a resolution uh, with regards to that. Give me one example. I say there has never been. And you're sure in this case? I said there has never and been. Sure in this I case. said there has never been. Okay, continue. Okay? Continue. So the, the, there can't not be any si assignment. Assignment mean I cannot pass the ball off to Zinni unless the council approves it. What is it that you don't understand? It's their sole discretion. It said they can refuse or approve. Or approve, right. Yes. Approve. And it has to be before the body. You're certain of that? Because that's how not many times I'm, it's any. How many times am I going to say it? I'm just asking. I know. You, you keep asking the same thing, and I keep saying the same thing. I'm okay. not going to, I'm not going to, defer. and you could go and But you know, all you have to do is say, yeah. No, I mean, no we don't have to I, argue I, about I, that. No, it's not a question of argument. You keep pushing the same thing. I keep saying the same thing. Okay, fine. So continue on with your points. Okay. What's, go ahead to your next question. I already said they can't assign. So show it. where it has been reassigned. I guess you have the document to show it, right? In other words, where the what the I just, what I, what, what I just read to you was two resolutions. Right. And, and and they they re, re, revise and it, it it it's in the same month they have both the same day. Mm -hmm. I said I gave to you and you pointed you pointed the camera so I don't even have to go back there. You know what those are. Okay, but I'm saying that the uh, matter of the point of your lawsuit is that it was assigned to somebody that it should not have been without council approval. No, the 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 laws the lawsuit. No, that's no, that's not okay. okay. I see what the exclusive negotiating agreement with with the defendants I just so described, which is Prologis Properties LP Limited Partner mm -hmm. and and uh, CCIG a LLC, which is a limited liability company. Mm -hmm. You are with? Are you with me there? Yes. And that was done in 2011. I showed you the resolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are. Fast forward. October 23rd, mm -hmm. 2012. Okay. The uh, parties and the, the, the kept the time kept being pushed back. The mm -hmm. parties signed the LDDA, the Lease Disposition Development Agreement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay. Those names should be the same names that on September twentieth. Instead, what are what whatever what are they instead? No, we don't. No, 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 no. I want you to understand. No, I do. But Gene, here's the problem. They're getting ready to close, okay. so I need yeah. you to kind of. No, no, you know. no. Yeah, keep, let, me, let me let me let me do it. And I said those names should be the same names. Would you agree with that? Sure. Okay. On September 23rd, 2012, and the effective date of the lease disposition and development agreement is uh, December 4th, 2012. Okay. I have before you a document. And you could see 
It's stamped 12-4-2012. You see that up here? Yeah, I do. Uh-huh, I okay. do. Yeah. On this official document, mm -hmm. it also has to be notarized mm -hmm. by all the parties, the parties being the identified developer entity, the uh, city's attorney, mm -hmm. and the city administrator. All right, so Gene's about to show the lease distribution disposition development agreement of the parties uh, who signed to the uh, to the document okay. for the Oakland Army Base okay. for the conveyance from right, the right, city right, to right, right. okay. Let's so see. here I said you have the city administrator, mm -hmm. Deanna Santana, mm -hmm. the city attorney. Barbara Gordon, no. Barbara Parker. Barbara Parker. Oh, I keep saying Barbara Gordon. Okay. Gordon, sorry. And what you read that? It uh, says Mark Hansen. Mark. Who's Mark Hansen? Who the ha ha ha? Who's the company above Prologis. it? Prologis. Prologis what? Prologis C C I G Oakland Global LLC, a Delaware Limited Liability Company. Right. Developer. Does that seem like the same? Individuals who signed the well, it previous. Sounds, well, it sounds like they just combined themselves into one entity. No, you can't. You can't. They, they, well, you, because you it's, to, because it's the same. You're asking me a question. It's the same names here. They're on there, but it's stated a different way. No, it's not. They combined. If it's a different company, it's a different company. It was not the company for which they started out. This is uh, Prologis uh, Properties LP Limited Partner. This is CCIG uh, LLC. This document. While it gives the impression it's the same, which you fell into that trap by saying that, uh -huh. but this is Prologis CCIG Oakland Global LLC, totally different company. Well, it's not totally different because the name is no, 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 no. It's a totally something different company. No, so something was done. No, no, it's a totally different company. What do you mean something was done? Because it's the same names, Gene. Anybody it's watching your video? Well, no, no, you're not listening. You're not letting me finish. They're the same names, but it's a different corporate structure. My the, the, point is that. It's not the same names. If the different corporate. It's Prologis here, no, no, Prologis it's a, there. Pro, let me give you an example. Last, last week, week before last, in, in uh, England, mm -hmm. there was a, uh, a company called Apple Shop. Mm -hmm. They changed their name because everybody thought they were Apple Inc. Okay. 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 Are those the same companies? No. Okay, go ahead. So, okay, all right, go so ahead. what I'm saying, there, there cool. is a different, it gives the impression of uh, an appearance, but this is, and you could check with the Secretary, Secretary okay. of State to see if they filed their, uh, uh, a new name mm -hmm. under this structure. Okay, so why, so, why, so why do this then? What's, so, what? Because this is the basis of your lawsuit, right? That's, that's the evidence, right? The, 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 oh, the evidence is real clear. I, well, go ahead. The, the, and I don't know why one would have any difficulty with, uh, you're a learned person, and so why does it seem so perplexed when I said if it, if it started out with A, it has to end up with A. It started out with A and ends up with Z. Mm -hmm. Two different entities. Okay. So next steps. Oh, we'll be in court on March 7th, uh, Department 23, at 3 o'clock. Uh, there will be a tentative ruling that will be issued. Which court? Uh, Department 23. Which court, though? Uh, that, uh, Alameda County Superior Court. 661. No, Washington. no, excuse me. The, uh, uh, that's in the uh, administration, Alameda County Administration. On, okay. On, uh, oh. Okay. All right. Any place online people can go to read more about it? No, the case the case number is RG mm -hmm. one two six four two eight two. So right. you could go to the Alameda County Superior uh, Court website, mm -hmm. uh, put RG one two six four two zero eight two, and then you could look at the the status of the documents, both from the defendant as well as from the plaintiff, which is me. Have five. Okay, and with that. They've closed on us, so we got to get out of here. Thank you, Gene. All right. Thank you very much.